Hi guys, thank you for your time. So we are Frost Flower Production. Um, this is our financial pitch. We really hope you guys enjoy it as much as we did creating it. Um, so our love line, to summarise our film, was a young girl is eager to complete a bucket list at just the age of 15. Could there be a reason why? So we thought this would have an emphasis on the audience because um, it's a rhetorical question, so I would get the audience thinking why she wants to complete her bucket list at a really young age. Uh, so here's our elevator pitch. We thought we'd show it to you to, um, to let you have more understanding of what the film's actually about. So imagine the sweet buttery smell of popcorn and the laughter of young girls enclosed in a small box room. Imagine the music muffling in the background with girly gossip running over it. The girls talk about the latest fashions and places they really want to visit. Pretty fairy lights are hung around the room which just gives enough light to see the girls' faces. The girls come to the idea of bucket lists. Ambitious, extravagant ideas are thrown across the room. Only one girl stays extremely quiet. Imagine this young girl exploring the city with her friends. We follow her around as she visualizes, as we visualize what she sees. All these things may be a dream for this girl, but she can only hope. Then we switch back to the bedroom. We see this young girl facing the mirror, taking the tablet with a clinical looking tube attached to her arm. The last thing the audience see is a roof dropping to the floor. A few years later, we see her walking into the hospital. The twist is, she's wearing a nurse's uniform. So I've created this storyboard for the beginning of our theme, which is the bedroom theme. And then 10 shots, so the first shot is um, the camera faded into the back of the girls. Um, during this scene, the titles appear, so in the background, we, hear, we don't hear the girls' conversation, but we hear them giggling and distant talking. Uh, so here's our shot by shot list, and as you can see, a lot of the shots are point of view, and this is because we want to keep Ava's identity hidden until the final scene and it also helps to give um, the audience a view into what she's seeing and we also want to keep the identity hidden because we don't want the audience to know that she has cancer just yet. Um, also as you can see most of the shots are done from point of view and we did this in order to um, have the audience experience things through Ava's eyes and in order to do this we're going to use a GoPro camera and a headset in order to create that realistic feel as if they was Ava themselves? Well, I would say that our target audience would be mostly females um, aging around 12 to 25 because they'd be able to relate to the young girl in the film and her friends because it's based on her. And the certificate of our short film would be 12 because it's not inappropriate, it like, doesn't contain any sexual scenes. So this girl is Ava and she is our main character. Um, she is 15 years old and um, she has stage three cancer. Um, she was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 10. Um, she is a fine and social teen and loves spending time with her friend and having sleepovers and going shopping. Ava lives with her dad and her two sisters and younger brother. She lives in a flat and because her family is big, it's a bit of a squash. Ava's doctors have given her six months to live and Ava will not let anything stand in her way. There are four other girls in the film, which has um, Hazel, who is her best friend, and they've known each other since nursery, and then Kim, Jess, and Jade, who um, Ava met in high school. Um, also, we have 12 different locations that we need to film at. And most of these we do already have permission, but we still need to make it official by like, getting sheets and so one of the places that um, we're filming at is the orbit. And we're actually gonna go down the slide. It's all gonna be filmed from a point of view shot with um, the camera that I have. The next location is Comet Garden, which we're gonna show a shot of Ava and her friends watching some of the acts that perform around Comet Garden. Also, um, we're doing a prom dress scene where Ava tries on a prom dress. As she 
she's dying, she might be able to attend prom. That's part of the guessing situation in the film. So we do have permission from David's Bridal, which is a hotel in Bristol, and they already said that we can try some of the dresses on. And also, um, there's a scene where Ava um, does horse riding for the first time. So I got permission from High Beach Riding School as I ride there. So, um, we have two school horses and my own horse, which we are allowed to ride. Um, here's a breakdown of the budget. Um, as I said, most of the locations um, that we're filming at are free, except for the following, which is the all here. Um, yeah. Even though we got the horses free for High Beach Riding School, there is still a fee for the hat hiring. Um, but I only have two hats free, so it's only one we pay for. And um, also, the Winter Wonderland, when that opens, there's a fee to enter and to also um, yeah, go on some of the rides. And also the cable cars and some of the props for the opening scene, which is at a sleepover of Ava and her friends. So we need to pay for popcorn and drinks, etc. And so the total is £25, which will be splitting up between three of us, which would be around £18.